everyone. We're off to Zilker Park today. So we're packing up and getting ready to go. Over here, I'm adding some closed captionings for one of our videos. Show's over here. I don't know what you're doing. What are you doing, buddy? I'm gonna make the bed. Changed your sock. So there's a giant hole in it's a hole it. In the sock. <laughs> How awkward. <laughs> So I gotta finish up over here with that. Let's get things going, buddy, huh? I'll see how long this takes me. It always takes a few hours. And then hopefully we can pack up and get ready for a day out. Babe, I was wondering why it was so cold in here. The air conditioner is on. Did you turn it off? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm bringing some silverware because we might eat out while we're uh, near the park today. I also brought a straw. It's one of those silicone like smoothie straws, like super thick. <laughs> so, you know, I'm making a milkshake or something or a drink. Uh, we've got some napkins. Um, we like to bring our own reusable napkins. Got my sunglasses there just in case the, the rays are strong. And then I have this cute bag I'm going to put everything in. I got it from VegFest Albany, New York last year. It says, a peaceful world rooted in respect and justice for all beings. And it's from the Woodstock Farm Sanctuary. It's one of my favorite bags. And we're also bringing a picnic blanket. I know it doesn't look like a blanket now, but it's currently a pillow and it transforms into some kind of picnic-y blanket. Uh, but it's brightly colored and so cute. We're bringing our filming equipment, tripod, bag, charger, all that to make sure that we're all set there. <laughs> but other than that, we were planning to bring food, weren't we, originally? Yeah, originally. But, but life happens, right? Yeah. So, I also decided to bring some Tupperware and then I did bring a silicone Ziploc bag just in case, you know, it's really messy or we need to put the silverware or napkins in there just so it doesn't get everywhere, the food. So we'll be adding those to the bag here and then it seems like we'll be off. Show's just filling up his water bottle over there. I filled up mine. So other than that, we should be all set, right? Yeah, let's go. Sitting. Water bottle. Bro, that is where I'm sitting. Oh, I forgot the charger. Or is the charger in the... Ready? No! There's a water bottle in my seat. Bro, buddy. Just cause your phone died. At one time. Yeah, keep it charged. Why? What happens if you're drowned? He dies. Okay. <laughs> so what are we planning to do today? Going to Zilker Park. Gonna hang out. Gonna pick up some food first, probably. Gonna have a picnic. Gonna have fun. Yeah. Do you know what fun is? No. Oh, well, I'll show you. I like that SpongeBob song. F is for friends who do stuff together. U is for you and me. N is for no survivors. Okay, sorry. Wow, okay. that's <laughs> that was extreme. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm currently trying to decide what to eat at the restaurant that we're getting takeout from. Show help me. <laughs> Isn't that right? Yeah. Fun Forest stuff. Operation. <laughs> yes. That's how we roll here. I could be one of those people that just has a milkshake, calls it a day, 
eats dessert and that's it. <laughs> Started with the rumor of a new life. I quit my job and packed up for the long ride. Aware that I was leaving all security to wander in the wilderness and dare to dream. Burning every bridge that was behind me. Oh well. I came here with no papers like a dropout. A pilgrimage, a voyage on the Mayflower Determined not to miss an opportunity To clutch at every straw I saw in front of me And claim I was the ruler of my destiny Oh well About a milkshake for days, hours, and then they revealed to us that they no longer do ice cream. And that broke my heart. So they offered me an avocado mousse, like a chocolate mousse, or cheesecake. It's not ice cream. That name is not. <laughs> so I ended up getting the mousse. And we ended up getting a barbecue sandwich with some fries. And it looks like they have like salt and some kind of herb thing on them. And there's some house made ketchup, I think. They wouldn't let us use our own containers because of the whole COVID thing. So that's kind of a bummer. Look how big the switch is. to the top and I was like, why does this taste so horrible? Because the salt went on top as well. Oops. How was it? I had no kick. I go return some stuff to the car. Don't want to take too much with us. So, this is Zoker Park. We're gonna go see some sights and uh, get up to some trouble, hopefully. Just that in the distance. Such a wild man. What is it? I don't know what it is, but he's coming towards me. And he has a green shirt, like some kind of leaf. Ready? And he seems to know me. Who are you? Why are you sitting out here by yourself? This is kind of creepy. It is kind of creepy. People coming. were staring, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. Uh. So why 
did we move to Austin? For the weather. <laughs> it's 90 <laughs> degrees today and That's it is <laughs> October 1st. It's amazing. Yeah. So I was trying to avoid snow, ice, sleet, anything cold. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Especially as a wheelchair user. Um, it is so much easier to live when you don't have to worry about snow or cold or ice or the possibility of that. And I, mm -hmm. here it might be like astronomical, you know, the, the odds of actually seeing snow or ice or anything. Yeah. And that made me feel a lot safer. It's hard to describe trying to get into a car when you have snow everywhere, ice everywhere, yeah. trying to drive in that, trying to get the snow off your car without assistance, you know. Luckily when I lived in New York, I had my parents helping me, but with due time, um, I moved out of my parents' house, so to move somewhere that had snow again would have been kind of silly, so. Yeah. What about you? Awesome. For the weather as well. It's yeah. so much nicer here yeah. than it was, you know, back in Indiana, it was for, from, for where I'm from. She's from New York, so. I don't yeah. like the cold weather. Yeah. But, so you had a full-time job in New York that you had to quit to come here. Well, I didn't have to quit it, but <laughs> well, I, mean, uh, I chose to leave. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You had, to, you had to leave your job to come all the way out here. Yeah. What was that like? Well, it wasn't my favorite job in the world, so it wasn't that difficult, yeah, that helps but you. yeah, I had to leave my family. I think that was the biggest thing, was having to leave my family behind. They're a good 30-hour drive from here, which uh, is quite the haul. <laughs> we made the trip, but it's hard to imagine trying to make the trip back, so we probably had to take an airplane or something, but mm -hmm. in order to get away from the winter, we had to go really, really far away, so yeah. um, Austin was a great option because the year-round weather is liberal here. There's just a lot of our values that are shared. Yeah. It's a beautiful city. They have some great parks here, a lot of nature-y stuff. Mm -hmm. We also don't like humidity, so this is a nice dry heat here yeah. compared to like North Carolina, South Carolina. So. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's why we moved here, and we love it, right? Yeah. Okay, so, there you go. You feel better? You feel better. <laughs> yeah, I guess we are over there. Okay. accessible though like we noticed that a lot of the sidewalks here don't have any kind of drop for me to be able to use it so show how to keep helping me down these curbs because they're so high that I don't want to like crash land you know I go down them backwards you know for safety but still it's scary to drop that much mm -hmm. and then um, and not be able to do it without the assistance of someone I would have been stuck like, yeah, <laughs> like up on there place. yeah I don't know it's not very wheelchair accessible the places that do have ramps I mean even the one where we were doing our little talk was you know there it wasn't even it was it wasn't a smooth pave it was like after years of deterioration there's two different levels and I had to go down the ramp backwards again and we saw that ramp by the by the railroad tracks that's the same thing it's like this super steep one and when you hit the bottom it goes completely flat so if you hit that with your with your front wheels you could go flying so I was kind of disappointed with the accessibility it was also really hilly on that uh, path on the way back you had to like push me up it and I'm really strong but I mean, it was exhausting because it's also like a dirt path, kind of has some gravel in there too. So I don't know, I'm sweating. It's like 90 degrees out and you know, I just I just wish it was flat and paved and there were no ramps or anything. So mm -hmm. kind of disappointed with the accessibility. So that was a bummer, um, trying out 
something new in it. <laughs> uh, but a lot of people here today. Mm. But it was fun. Yeah. We had a good time, right? Yeah, it was great. I like enjoy the sun. The sun's nice. Me too. So now we're going to head home. And what are we going to do? Probably relax. Get yeah, some probably. dinner later. And yeah. well, we'll make dinner. We're making dinner. And then that's it, right? Mm -hmm. We're gonna try to enjoy uh, the traffic home. It's about 2.35 here, so it shouldn't be too crazy crazy <laughs> on the roads, but we'll yeah. see, you never know in Austin. So uh, we're gonna head home though. Yeah. We'll see you in a minute. What are you up to? Making, Making dinner? dinner? Leftovers? So what is Fresh. it? Smoked carbonara. Yeah, <laughs> yummy. And it has mushrooms in it, liquid smoke. Peas. Cashews, that makes the cream sauce. Got some penne pasta. Put some peas in it, nothing like a carbonara with peas. Hey, Al. You just boop my nose. You just boop my nose. Boop, boop, boop. Look at a crazy man. Look at a little Peter Pan in that Peter green man. shirt. Yeah, I look like Leaf Man. <laughs> All you need are some tights, and you could be Peter Pan. Or Robin Hood. Yep. Sounds like something's ready, buddy. What are our plans for tonight after your client? Chill. Yeah. We also haven't finished Sherlock yet. That's the show we're watching right now, mm -hmm. the BBC version. Mm -hmm. What season are we on? Four? The last season? Three right now. Oh yeah, because it's the special episode. There's like this extra episode. So mm -hmm. it's like when they flash back to the actual time of the books. Mm -hmm. um, so that's pretty cool. So I'm excited for that. We didn't finish it. So last night we had to go sleep early. Um, <laughs> and we're like halfway done with the episode. So I still don't know who the murderer is. So we'll find that out later. It's pretty exciting. We usually go on a night walk around 10. Yeah. It's really quiet around here at that time. Look at the moon. It's always so it's always so beautiful out there. Mm -hmm. Bring a cardigan with us. It's kinda it's starting to get chilly at night, I don't know. Like like yeah. not as cold as the it's northeast. 68 but degrees like, is chilly. Yeah, but I don't know. Going out there without a bra on, you know. <laughs> I'm usually in my pajamas. Bra. No one ever like sees me drinking my own water bottle. It just looks like I steal yours. Oh, okay. And I was all the way over there though. God, energy efficiency, man. This thing is just a monster. The fuck a noodle there. Oh, I lost a noodle. Yikes. Well, I think we're going to end the vlog here, guys. I hope that you enjoyed. Please remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more from us. And other than that, I hope you guys have an awesome day. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye.